Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ producer Johnny Miles here with DJClasses.com and I'm here to explain everything you wanted to learn about the DJ turntable. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. Let's do it. Okay guys, so basically let's dive right into it. Now, with the techniques, this is an industry standard equipment and these are the Technique 1200s MK2s. So basically what you have on a turntable is the start and stop knob, start and stop button where we'll stop and start the platter. You have a 33 and a 45 RPM, which I'll get into later on and show you what both functions are for. So why this turntable is revolutionary in the DJ community is because it actually has a pitch adjustment. Now depending on what style or model turntable you have, you can either go up 8%, down 8%, or up 16% or down 16%, which will allow you to seamlessly mix two songs together. Basically, the 33 and the 45 RPMs. The 33 RPMs are for your typical 12 inch LP album vinyls, and the uh, 45 RPM is basically for your seven inch singles. Now, every turntable comes with one of these, and as a DJ and experience, a lot of DJs just throw it away, but don't. You need it because when you have a seven inch LP, there's a bigger hole instead of this little small one that you need to put this adapter onto so it holds the record in place so it actually spins the vinyl with your platter. Also, with every turntable, with any appliance, you have a power cord and you plug it in so you turn on this great turntable. And then you have your RCAs, which you plug in your mixer, which will allow you to play music outside one of the channels, which I'll get into the mixer in a later video. Also, there are a ground wire in every turntable, um, which will allow the static and the humming from the vinyl to not be heard, because if you ground anything with electricity, it's just great. Also what a turntable has is what is called a tone arm. And the tone arm is basically where you put your needle to read the music and the counterweights of the turntable allow you not to scratch up the record or basically break your needle. You keep it perpendicular to the record and you have a happy time DJing. Pro tip, um, I really recommend the turntable if you want to learn how to beat juggle and any turntablism because with having a moving platter and a full size record, it really allows you to understand the movements you need to make with your hand to create different sounds in your sets and be very unique. One last pro tip before we get out of here, make sure that your turntables are direct drive. They will allow your platter to turn and when you actually hold the platter, it won't stop. Back in the day when I first started, they had rubber band belts, which really couldn't scratch and it was no fun, it just played the vinyl. So direct drive is the way to go or just look for some techniques. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe and that like button so we could share more DJ knowledge and give you more tutorials. This is Johnny Miles, DJ and producer with DJClasses.com. Catch you in the next video. Peace.